Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name's Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about writing drafts in Jekyll. Now, in Jekyll, we can write normal blog posts, and all of those blog posts are going to go inside this post folder. So I just have this uh, example blog post right here, and this just kind of came with my default Jekyll site. But what if you wanted to write a post that wasn't meant to be up on your website yet? So in other words, you wanted to write like a draft of a post. Well, Jekyll actually has a way that you can do that. And we can store all of the draft blog posts on our website inside of a new folder. And it's just going to be called underscore drafts. And now inside of this underscore drafts folder, I can create new markdown files and they'll automatically be like rendered and considered as drafts by Jekyll. So I'm going to make a new file and inside of this file, I'm just going to call this like my first draft. And this will be like, you know, an example draft page for our site. And inside of these draft pages, you can include front matter. So I could give this a layout of post. So it'll be like a normal blog post. And then in here, I can just put like some draft content. And Jekyll is actually going to display this draft content differently than it displays the post. So if I come over here to my website and I refresh the page, you'll notice that the post doesn't show up. It doesn't show up in this post sections. And that's because this is a draft. So if this was like a page that you were working on and you weren't quite done with it yet, you could just store it in this drafts folder and you'll still have a physical file in your Jekyll directory over here but it won't be like displayed or rendered on the actual site. If however, you wanted to see how this post would look on your site, you can actually run a special Jekyll server command. So I'm going to end my server down here and I'm going to run the Jekyll serve command, but I'm going to include a flag. So I'm going to say hyphen hyphen draft. And what this is going to do is it's going to run the Jekyll server and it's going to build any of the drafts that are inside of that draft folder. So I'm going to run this. And now when I head over to my website and I refresh the page, you'll notice that my first draft is showing up. And so it wasn't showing up before, but when we ran the Je the Jekyll serve command with that draft flag, now it's showing up. And there's a couple things I want to point out about these drafts. The first is when I click on this draft, You'll notice that it's being stored inside of 2017-09-24, my first draft. And that's actually today's date. So whenever you serve up a draft, it's going to be given a default date of like the current date. So you can see here, uh, same thing, right? September 24th, 2017, that's today. And we didn't name this draft file the same way we named the post. So whenever you create a blog post, you have to name it with this naming convention, right? You have to give it this 2017-09-24. You'd have to give it the, the date. Um, but when you name a draft, you don't have to do that. If you were going to move your draft over into your post folder, then you'd have to assign it a specific date. But when it's just a draft, it'll just kind of figure out the date on its own and just give it the current date. And so drafts, you know, basically look the same and they can work the same as the posts on your site. They're basically just rendered as posts when you run that drafts flag in the Jekyll server. So yeah, drafts can be a really great way to kind of control the workflow on your website. You can store all of the draft blog posts in here. And then when you're ready to publish them, just move them into your post folder. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.